a legend in the house, Chip Reese. He is probably the most respected player in the poker world by his peers. I'm sure some people will be talking about Chip's legacy as a poker player, and obviously his legacy will stand the test of time. And his name will always be brought up when we try to discuss who the best poker player who ever lived was. I came to Las Vegas with $400 in my pocket, just planned to stay for a weekend, and uh, got into a little poker tournament at the Sahara Hotel, won 60000 bucks, and I never left. Chip Reese has been the best over the last three decades. He's the best player you've never heard of. He just has some qualities that no other players have got. Best all-around player I ever saw. Period. Chip Reese, the one name at the table you might not know, who just might be the greatest poker player of all time. He is underrated in terms of the amount of TV time and notoriety that he's achieved in the last couple of years, but everyone that knows poker knows that Chip is one of the best. There's a piece of you that wants to have everybody running up to you and asking for your autograph. <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day. I'm happy that my peers think I'm a great player, and uh, that's very important to me. And you know what they say about fame and everybody knowing you, it lasts for 15 minutes. Chip is a cool character. He's um, very smooth the way he plays. 250 more. He's been beating the biggest cash games for over two decades. Playing some strong poker over here, aren't we? He is absolutely the most consistent player that I've ever seen in my life. I'm still a little bit sad that uh, now it's, uh, it's been a day since Chip Priest died. He was definitely one of the one of my uh, my idols. He did his things uh, his way. He had a unique style to play. Great person. It's just. Uh, I'm really happy I had a chance to play with him. I mean, he's a legend, and um, he was a great player. Great, great player. I mean, I'm very sorry for his family and everything. I mean, it's very sad. Sad thing for the poker world. You know, I've lost a friend. I lost someone who I... Uh, battled against for, for many years and uh, he never lost a step. Chip's four years older than I am and I was kind of hoping that because I'm a little bit younger than, than he is that uh, it would give me an edge there as, as we got older but uh, it hasn't. But of course any of us who have children know that the big tragedy is uh, to, uh, his, his kids not being without the, their guiding light. You know, Chip was so involved in his kids, and uh, I'm sure at his funeral, the word children and the word kids is going to be said hundreds of times because he was such a devoted family man. And usually, when you think of poker players, you think of uh, people who go on the road and don't spend enough time with their children. Well, Chip was just the other way around. He uh, always put his children first, and it didn't matter what the situation was. Uh, if uh, if there was something to see that his kids were doing, that's where Chip was, and that's where he wanted to be. You know, if he's looking down on this, is that's the only thing he's thinking about. Is uh, it really wasn't time for him to go? Uh, there was so much more for him to do. You have to live on the edge a little bit if you're a, a big gambler and, and that's what you love. There's got to be a little bit of risk, you know. You got to walk on that edge where it hurts a little bit if you lose. And uh, it, this makes every day in your life exciting. And uh, you know, it's not boring at all. And that's what uh, I think. That's why I still love to do it. Good luck, guys. Good luck. And good luck, Jim. Uh, so you don't need it. <laughs> see, you the, see the big game. Absolutely, huh? man.